Okay, probably not from there. there that's pretty cool yeah nice bit of pesos and everything not a bad haul lots of coins and clad to add to our collection okay so we are back and i've got to say i'm pretty surprised at how much i found this time around and it's crazy too because this was back to back find in the same location just one week apart, so I was very, very happy with what I got. So, once again, as with the last video, we have our tray here, our tray of wonder and amazement, and we have all of our finds here. So, we got a good amount of stuff this time, and I really am surprised just how much is left behind at Coinstar Machines. I've never had this much luck. I've seen plenty of videos, especially by Half Dollar Make You Holler, that finds tons of stuff and I never really had that opportunity until now so I'm very happy about that. So we ended up getting coins from three places or three parts of the world, Mexico, Europe, and America. Of course America because I am in America. No Canadians which was a surprise but anyway let's go ahead and get these sorted out here and see what we got. So I'm just separating them out just like last time where I have all the pennies grouped together. No wheats this time which is also a surprise. Uh, lots of copper though. It seems like a lot of copper gets rejected. So that's a big interesting thing. So we're just gonna go ahead and sort these all out here. And I'm guessing the reason why people don't care about getting the coins back is because they're worried that they're gonna get sick from handling the coins I'm guessing during these days, which is perfectly understandable. But I tend to wash my hands after touching money. So doesn't really affect me too much and I always carry around hand sanitizer in case I come across something that's particularly gross uh, but still worth to pick up so that's just how I am but anyway so yeah this is our entire haul here and we got quite a bit of pennies as with last time but the difference comes with a higher value because we ended up getting some dimes and a nickel this dime and nickel have been bonded together with some unknown glue substance <laughs> but anyways, regardless, we ended up getting 5, 10, 15, 18 pennies, 4 dimes, and a nickel, which I believe totals to 63 cents. Could be wrong. I'll have to make a little edit on in front of me if I make a mistake there. But anyways, we also got ourselves 1 euro and 40 euro cents. And let's take a look at these coins, because the interesting thing about euros is that many all the member states end up sharing their own currency they all have the same front but the back is always unique so let's see what coins we got here so we'll start off with the one euro here standard front but if we flip it over we actually got a very unusual kind of arrangement here it's kind of hard to see but let's try to get that in the shot here it's all in between those little towers, but it says Portugal and it is from 2008. So this is a Portugal branded Euro. It's not really a brand, but you know what I mean? And we also got these two 20 Euro cents. So this one is a pretty cool dude on the back there from Spain. It looks like so it says Spain. Banya. If we can get that in the light there, you can see there, it says España, Spain, as well as another one from Spain. So that's pretty cool. This one's from 1999. And this one is from 2008. So 
they've kept the same design for over almost 10 years apart. So that's pretty cool. So now we got, of course, these three um, pesos here. This one came from 2008, just with the standard peso mark. But then when they first introduced them, the new peso is what I'm guessing it is, because there's the end there. This one is from 1994. So really, really cool. I always enjoy finding pesos and collecting them because I just love how they use two pieces of metal to make the coins. So that's pretty cool. Regardless, that's going to be all for now. I hope you enjoyed the little video that I made for you all. And hopefully I can get some coin roll hunting in because this past week I was trying my very best to find some time to metal detect, but the times I had freedom from all my work, uh, the weather was not um, being very cooperative, including the first half of this week too. It's very rainy, and windy, and getting cold. So definitely not the best weather for metal detecting. Once it stops raining so much, I'll most likely go. But for now, I'm just going to be working on things I got to do at home, as well as probably doing some coin roll hunting because I can do that on the inside and still have a good time. So yeah, that's going to be all for now. Thank you so much for watching. Take care. Hope you all find some great coin star finds just like me. Maybe even better, get some silver, get some jewelry. I don't know. But regardless, I wish you all the very best. Thank you so much for watching. Take care and have an awesome day.